Hello my friends, welcome to an exciting episode with me in our Photoshop design series. In this video, I'll be showing you how I created this Sharma booster inside of Photoshop, right? With easy steps like we've done in previous videos. If you've not gotten your Easter template flyer, the link is in the description of this video alongside the Smart Designer Premium Assets. The link is in the description of this video. So click on the link that takes you to where you can purchase yours. And um, if you've not subscribed to my channel, now is the best time to subscribe to my channel so that you miss any of the videos I'll be dropping in them from now. Without having to say much, let's get started. So the first thing is click on File, click on New, and I'm just going to give this um, Shawarma poster. All right. So it's just going to be like this. The width is four. The height is five. Resolution 300. Just click OK, and we're good to go. Click on solid color and I'm just going to use this color, right? So um, let me go back there. Um, double click. This is the color code. So you can copy this and use this and for your design. So I'm just going over to my text tool and I'm going to type a few things. So the first one I'm going to type is um, the first. Um, I'm just going to break it down into two. So this is Sha and um, I'm going to Ctrl D to duplicate this, bring this down here, and I'm just going to type, sorry, I'm going to do that again, bring this down here, and I'm just going to type um, AMA for this, yes, so it's the full spell in Shawarma, but I just broke it down, I broke it down for um, this particular poster design, so it's going to be Shawarma, right? So I'm just going to select the two of them, Ctrl J to um, make a co copy of it. And I'm just going to convert this my objects, group this one also like this. And I'm going to name this text like this. I'm going to drag this one below the text. I'm going to hide the text. And I'm going to make some adjustment to this, like making it big as the first thing, because this is going to be in the background. Right, so I have to make copies of this Ctrl J, but reduce the opacity first. Twenty eight is good. Then the few maybe like fifty three. Ctrl J to duplicate this. I'm just going to put it this way, slightly overlapping it at the base. Right, select the three of them. You can move them all, and um, Ctrl G to group them. I'm just going to name this B text in case I need to come back and edit it. I'm going to change the blend mode to overlay so it blends well with the background itself i'm going to turn on this shawarma and i'm going to do something else with this text sorry close this back so all i need to do close this all i need to do is just duplicate this just press ctrl j to duplicate it ctrl t and um, bring this one down here like this so you have this way select um the two of them ctrl t and move it in place make it slightly bigger like this and yeah this is exactly how i want it to be All right so you can move it to your arrow key like this All right so um the background i'm going to increase it ctrl t and increase the size like this All right, so I haven't done this. The next thing I'm going to do is come over to and convert this to a smart object. Go to filter and um, apply noise to it like this. And um, quick OK like this. All right, so I haven't done that. Go over to this and group the two of them and i will just name this background so the entire part of that is the background so going over to the text i'm just going to control g group everything and i'm going to name it main text you can see how i'm trying to refine and modify my layers so it's not busy right so this is how you should always plan your design so i'm just going to go to text tool again and this time i'm going to type something different the same word but um, in a different way so it's going to be Sharma. 
put it like this warmer but i'm going to increase the space come over here and you can set it to 600 just like this or if it's not enough you can still increase it um let me double this size 1200 yeah so i think this is nice enough so i'm going to leave this here like this and i'm going to go in and bring in the image of the shawarma so this is also in the description of this video this resource file i'm using for this video so you can go ahead to download yours too so i'm just going to position this here i'm not going to be doing too much because this image is close to being perfect so you can get this type of image in the png parts of the smart designer premium assets so you can get images like this inside of that package so that's why it's good it comes handy with different images for different purpose or different projects so i'm going to make this a rounded corner by dragging this inside and um, i'm going to change the color so double click on this and i'm going to select a color from the shawarma itself so i'm going to use this orange color and um, light orange click ok and um, yeah we're good to go going over my text to make sure you don't type on top of the rectangle you type outside i'm going to amend this put it back to minus 25 and i'm going to type something else but this time it's going to be order now i guess and um i'm going to make it bigger like this all right and um i'm going to make a duplicate copy of this and i'm going to put it up and i'm just going to use this to type um free delivery like this so it's going to be free delivery and uh, i'm going to reduce the space in between but before i do that i'm going to change the font reduce um reduce this to like 500 500 is still too much let's um okay i think 500 is looking good i'm just going to manually reduce this and so i have this push it down a little bit and centralize it like this All right so order now free delivery so i'm going over to directly on top of this I'm going to select my pen too and I'm going to draw something else something that looks like this and um, yeah so this shape double click on it and change the color to what you have here I'm just going to make it a lighter red okay oops I'm going to leave it in this color here all right so click OK so I'm going to power clip it inside of that rectangle so go back to your selection tool right click and click on create clipping mask like this right so i'm going to expand this just a little bit like this and um that's all basically make a duplicate copy of this and i'm going to double click on the text and i'm just going to type in what i want to have there like this which is ten dollars i'm going to increase the size like this and then um, yeah nice and easy right so the next thing I'm going to do now, now that I have all my elements in place, I'm going to go over to, okay, this is white. Okay. You can choose to use any color of text here, but for me, for this design, I'm choosing to go with white because of um, how it pops out more, right? So I can always revert this to any color of your choice for me i'm going to go back to the white All right so i'm going to go back to white
ओके सो आई एम गोइंग टू गो इन एंड ब्रिंग इन अनदर इमेज दिस इज इन साइड ऑफ द स्मार्ट डिजाइनर प्रीमियम बॉन्डू आई कैन सी दैट्स वेयर आई एम इन साइड इन साइड द प्रीमियम पीएनजी सो आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू लोकेट द फाइल दैट आई एम लुकिंग फॉर व्हिच इज दिस वन हियर आई एम गोइंग टू ड्रैग and drop inside like this right so um this gives it an extra spark to make it pop more click enter and um control j to make it a quick copy of it now change this one change the blend mode to screen to make it pop more right so you have charma order now free delivery So I'll just leave that order now in the color it is. I'm not going to change it to white. So just going to leave it this way, right? So you can make it white in your design, and it's fine. It's good like that. All right, guys. That brings me to the end of this video session. If you like this video, do not pass without giving it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you miss any of the videos I'll be dropping any time out now. I'll see you in the next video, just right above.